Hi guys, I'm Stoffel van Dorn. Welcome to Honda Racing TV. Hello and welcome, I'm your host Lisa Leyland. Honda Racing TV is back for 2017, bigger, better and more behind the scenes than ever. So join us as we embark upon a new season full of action and excitement on two and four wheels. From Formula One, IndyCar, MotoGP, Rally, Enduro, MXGP and everything in between. We'll give you an insight into the teams, shine a spotlight on their machines and get to know the stars who take them into battle. In this episode, we speak to Formula One's hottest rookie, Stoffel van Dorn, ahead of his first season with McLaren Honda. We speak to Thiago Montero and Norbert Michelitz on their WTCC campaigns with the Castro Honda team. We rejoin Stoffel as he talks about the Honda NSX and puts the hybrid supercar through its paces. And finally, let's take a look at the latest in a line of record breakers, the 2017 Civic Type R, as it goes even faster around the Nordsch life. We start this episode with Stoffel van Dorn. The Belgium started karting at the age of six and quickly chalked up a remarkable record for rookie season championship victories before scoring a world championship point in his Formula One debut in Bahrain last year. We caught up with Stoff before his first full season with McLaren Honda. For me, it's, uh, it's great to join McLaren Honda as a, as a Formula One racing driver. It's uh, you know, kind of a dream coming true to, uh, to be on the Formula One grid, but uh, at the same time, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's the beginning of something. Um, you know, it's, it's where it all starts. I mean, the transition from being a reserve driver to, uh, to, uh, to a full-time race driver felt quite normal to me because um, I've spent the last four years with McLaren as a, as a young driver um, through the different series, GP2, World Series, um, Super Formula as well. Um, so I've, I've got to know everybody around, which, uh, which makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, and actually all the work I was doing in, in the simulator with, uh, with the engineers, um, it's, it's been very similar to, to what I'm actually doing now. I mean, the only difference now is that every time I come in, uh, it's much more focused on, on, on getting me in the car, getting me, getting me ready to go. Um, yeah, Fernando is a, is a double world champion. Everybody knows, uh, knows his qualities and, and um, still sees him as, a, as one of the best drivers on the grid. And uh, for me to have had the opportunity to work with him and, and see from the outside how he was um, pushing the team forward, uh, working with, with all the guys around was, uh, was a good experience. And uh, yeah, I mean, having, having Fernando as a teammate will, uh, will be a, a great benchmark for me. Yeah, I think last year was uh, one of the busiest years I've, uh, I've ever had in my life and I think uh, it will probably be the busiest year I will, I will ever have. Um, going to all the Formula One races plus all the Super Formula testing and, and races was, uh, was a, a very busy schedule. A lot of uh, travelling back and forward to Japan, uh, coming back to Europe. But um, yeah, I mean, I was very glad that I had the opportunity to, to race there um, in a competitive car. Uh, competitive series, um, you know, it, it really enabled me to to build a strong relationship with uh, with Honda as well. And you know, the year wasn't wasn't lost. I had a, I had one Grand Prix as well in in, in Bahrain, which uh, came a little bit unexpected and, and a little bit late um, with, with the call up. But uh, it was a great weekend for me, and um, yeah, I'm just very proud that I managed to score the first point for uh, for McLaren Honda. Uh, I know every time I walk uh, walk into into McLaren and and go along the boulevard and see. Uh, you know, the historic cars of, of Senna, Prost, uh, you know, um, Fittipaldi, uh, they're all exposed here and, and it's great to see. I had the chance to, uh, to even drive a couple of those, uh, those historic cars. Um, so, yeah, it's just massive respect and I think in the future it, it would be very cool to, uh, you know, to maybe have a car here on the Boulevard under, under my name as well. 
Sticking with four wheels, the Honda Civic WTCC returned to action in Morocco at the hands of Castrol Honda's Tiago and Norby. They took a dominant 1-2 at the opening race of the year. We caught up with the leading pair to discuss their hopes and aspirations for the 2017 season. We have high hopes for this season, obviously. Mm -hmm. After a really strong season last year, 2016, we are, um, we know we can fight for the championship again this year. We know we have a good, a real, real opportunity, and we we want to get it. We want to take it, take this opportunity. So we've been working very hard this winter. It's been uh, a lot of tests ongoing, and um, we are very motivated to to achieve that. Of course, high hopes for the season. We did a lot of mileage during the winter. We have many updates for the car. The updates we have are working. I'm confident that we, we will have the best package. After my first race win, my next target was to win the championship. And since then, uh, I start every season with uh, having the main goal of winning the world championship. Um, it's a dream I always had. Uh, since I'm in WTCC and uh, yeah, it would mean really a lot to me because uh, we did work hard to achieve that, to be there, to fight for the championship and for me personally it, it's, a, it's a goal I want to achieve. I wouldn't say a dream come true because I never really dreamt about it but that's my goal, that's what I've been working towards and all the sacrifices we've done, all the efforts we've been doing um, are to reach that, that goal. So it would be really um, one of the strongest sensations uh, I think that uh, I could have and I'll be proud of that. Um, having these kind of support um, from supporters I have in Hungary is just so special. So it makes me, makes me feel special. Every year when I have the chance to go on to the podium, I mean the moments uh, uh, I have there is just for a lifetime. I think I'm a lucky bloke to experience uh, these kind of things and I'm, I'm, yeah, like I said, these are memories for a lifetime. Yeah, racing in Portugal is always strong, very uh, intense, very good reception from the fans. It's, it's always great, but for sure that uh, the north of Portugal and Villarreal being not far from, you know, being uh, my family roots being not that far from there is even more special, has a special taste and uh, you can feel from the, the, the support that we, get, that we get there. Of course, people there are fans of motorsport anyway and they are supporting all the drivers. Obviously, there is a, a, a small touch of um, even more, uh, even more uh, support towards me, which makes sense and uh, I enjoy that a lot. It's big pressure, but it, it's a very good uh, reward. The 2015 Civic Type R set records for a front-wheel drive car and now the new 2017 Type R has gone one better. Let's take a look at its new Norch Life lap record. やっぱ自分の操作に対して車が動く、その関係がすごく面白く感じます。限界走行だけじゃなくて、普通に運転していても、その風に車が動く。みんな個性があって動き方がみんな違う。エンジニア的にもどういうところにその要素があるのかってい
アーレンベルグに向けての減速では少しナーバスな動きになりがちですしかし新しいタイプ R はより自信を持ってブレーキを踏め安定して減速できますメッツゲルスフェルドの先150キロぐらいの中速コーナーになりますここにおいても安定性が高いことでボトムスピード10キロから15キロぐらい上がっています2キロアウトコーナー190キロ程度の高速コーナーになります車体の安定性、空力性能によって旋回スピードを高くできていますカルーセルを抜けたところは路面が荒れていてトラクションはかかりにくいところではあるんですがそこも新しいタイプ R は路面をしっかり捉えて加速することができます。オーエアハットから先ブルンシェンまではリズミカルな区間になりますここは新しいタイプ R は回答性の良さや正確なハンドリングによってタイムアップを果たしていますフランツガルデンから先の高速セクションにおいては車体の安定性空力特性によって安定した形でコーナーを抜けていくことができますレッティンガホーフェからティアガルテンまでは最後のストレート新しいタイプ R は先代よりも先行して走りますしたはい。
and then turning in with, with great confidence, going on throttle very quickly. It shoots you out of the corner like a rocket. V6, a three and a half liter uh, twin turbo engine, nine speed gearbox and the electric motors. They really engage together and it really enables you to push a car. I really like the look of the, the Honda NSX car, it's something very special, there isn't really another road car that looks like that. To design the aerodynamics, you know, the honeycomb, air intakes, even the mirrors, they are designed to deliver the optimum downforce in the car and really make you feel at one with the car on track. My favorite part on the Astral circuit are the two little hairpins because the car just gives you so much confidence to attack the entries and, and then go on throttle very early on the exit and really power slide out of the corner aggressively, which is very nice. The N6 is fast, good looking and I definitely want one in my garage. Well, that's it from episode nine. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time. Stay tuned for more episodes of Honda Racing TV right here on hondaproracing.com.